What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Ogre Battle 64. Today, we continue punching our way through all the forces that are uh, trying to stop us from assaulting the capital here in Latium. So, we'll start off with a little engagement with uh, our friend Barry here. And I was going to use a heal leaf on this guy, but apparently I completely forgot. Hopefully it won't end up being a problem. Okay, maybe it will. Uh, okay, well, keep a cool head. Before we retreat, let's let our guys go through another round of attacks. Okay, now let's retreat. I was kind of hoping that would let me kill off the leader, but apparently not. I suppose that's what I get for not making sure to do these these things. Oh well. Fidatch got my back. He's probably just gonna go like one shot the dragon now. Okay, well, he didn't even attack the dragon. No, it's dead. You know, considering Fidatch has basically been standing in one spot for this entire map so far, it's amazing how much havoc he's wreaked upon the bad guys. Okay, Dustin, you just go straight for this stronghold. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get Tyler out here to start taking apart some of these and let's actually go up my lane too. Now let's see how things are going down here. There should be an item somewhere along this road. Okay, looks like Margaret finally caught up to our friend over here. So let's kill him off. Huh. Huh. Our uh, Freyas are actually at about 200 health. That's pretty good for a Freya. I mean, it's certainly not beefy. But it's not too shabby. Let's actually move her down this way. Maybe that'll try and kind of encourage these uh, these guys back to the left, where all I've got all the other guys coming in. And here we find the Lafal, or however you pronounce it. That's finally a uh, another claw weapon for Vad. Why they decide it's a good idea to wait until what is this scene 36 to give us another claw weapon? I have no idea. But they did, apparently. Uh, okay, so I think what I want to do now is kind of go like this. Actually, let's come up this way. Margaret's cho uh, choice of path is kind of backfiring a little bit. I'm trying to just, like, pincer these guys in. Oh, well, there's one of the items I'm looking for. Another rune plate. So that's going to come in handy. Uh, Barry, why don't you rest up at the stronghold? And Aqua, you come around this way a bit. What are you doing, Margaret? Go after someone. Go after Musashi. Mm. 
the, the pincer attack is not working quite as well as I had hoped. What's the alignment on the stronghold? Vulge. It's neutral. Okay, well, I guess let's send Destin down there, too. Meanwhile, actually, let's just send everyone down there. It's a good uh, staging area for preparing to take on the Knights of Danica. Which is no small task, let me tell you. Oh, looks like we've finally pincered like, some of them ac against the edge of the map. I don't know why, but I get the feeling that Hydra is going to do a lot of damage. I guess maybe not. My corner Freya there must have like some frost resistance or something. Well, that went well. Blood Whip. That's actually the strongest whip in the game. Not that it has a whole lot of competition. I believe there's only actually four different whips. So, yeah. Okay, Aqua. Now I'm going to swing you way the heck over here. Uh, let's see, I already found the rune plate. So there... There's one item in particular that I'm interested in at this point. Wow, uh, my lane is getting dangerously close to that Knight of Danica. And that is not an engagement that I want to partake in. You kill those soldiers, there's my lane. Show them what for. Whatever that means. And now you turn around and haul ass in the other direction. What's the alignment here? That is quite lawful. Okay, you can break camp, and now let's take out these dudes. Quite convenient when the bad guys are sleeping. It makes it pretty easy to catch them. And do that. Wow. A <laughs> hundred experience for one attack. That's a pretty good deal. Although I did have to chase them quite a ways, so there's that too. Ooh, a spell robe. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Uh... Who's that actually for? I can't even think of who that's for. It sounds like something that's good. Uh, garment. Okay, so can I give that to my princess? I might be able to. Well, someone who casts spells is going to appreciate it. Really? 24 damage? That's not pathetic at all, by which I mean it actually is completely and totally pathetic in every possible way. Bow of Thunderbolt. Lots of new toys. My, meanwhile, we have uh, the Grand Exodus down to the south. Let's have Barry take care of Goth Peaky down there. Liberation! 
Uh, I'm just gonna have Aqua take care of them, just because I don't want them to run into the Knights of Danica. So I'm just choosing someone who can actually catch the runner. This time you're mine! Banish the knight! If I can actually kill him. Those corner enemies are just so pesky. Really? I should have just used a Petra. What am I doing? It's like they're so useless by this point in the game that I just completely cross them off my mental checklist, or I, it's not even like it's something I even consider. Okay, well, I got you this time. I could have also uh, killed that guy if I'd been using pierces instead of banishes and jihads. But, you know, whatever. Certainly not the end of the world to have to take an extra round of combat. There are much, much worse things that could be happening. Ooh, bloodstained armor. That's a good one. I think. I'm fairly certain it's a good one. Sounds like a good one. No. I wonder if I can fly down here. Looks like I can't actually enter this area here, but whatever the case may be, I want to get down here, but I don't want to run into a knight of Danica. Is that gonna work? Looks like it's gonna work. And there we find the angelic armor. Okay, now you can go to sleep down here where no one's gonna ever bother you. And ah, oh, you're probably not gonna make it back to town, are you? Looks like this black knight has abandoned his post in Goth Peaky. Really? Uh, an adolescent dragon? Still using those in th scene 36? Wow, that was actually fairly impressive. doesn't help that it, uh, does, well, it doesn't help me, anyways, that uh, it also put everything in existence to sleep. I mean, I guess it helps the bad guys. You know, honestly, I'm actually just fine with the fact that I lost that battle, because that means I don't have to spend much time uh, chasing him down. Because he's just kind of right there. Whereas if I had won that battle, he would get catapulted back and I would have to run all over the place to catch up with him. Now I want to see what happens if I go like that. Do I fly right over the castle? Something like that. You know, for a guy that I'm not supposed to have to chase down, you sure are, are running a long way. Kill the stone dragon, huh? How they lug around a stone dragon with them, I'm not really sure. Okay. Let's get Magnus back over there. Ooh. 
liberate Goth Peaky. Now, uh, how's Feedatch doing? He took a bit of a hit that last battle. Uh, just for the sake of time, let's see the heal pack. Hmm, so Deanna's still missing a significant amount of health. Nah. Okay, so I'm gonna send Destin out that way. And Feedatch down this way. Now, I don't think you actually have to kill both Knights of Danica. I could be completely wrong about that, but... For some reason, uh, I think if you take one of the two forts, that's enough. I know the Hugo told us otherwise to begin with, but for some reason that's just something that's in my mind. I could, of course, be completely wrong. Caps Lock is cruise control for COOL! I chose these two units specifically because of their ability to heal, because obviously Knights of Danica are not something to be trifled with. Although, honestly, this guy has been fairly unimpressive so far. The Saturos with their combo Word of Pain was more threatening. This Knight of Danica has only done like 20 damage. That was actually not that hard at all. Oh, uh, okay. It seems like Knights of Danica take a ton of damage from Virtue Elemental weapons. And did not take much damage at all from the, the uh... Bane elemental weapon. Okay, so I'm actually gonna get Margaret down here. I guess I was completely wrong about my theory about not having to kill both knights of Danica. Because these uh, forts are perfectly neutral, I'm gonna get a neutral character to take the forts. Meanwhile, Dustin can take on the other knight of Danica. I wonder if this one will have the same resistance to Bane, because the other one had demons with it. This one has angel knights with it. Maybe this one is weak to Bane Elemental. That's complete conjecture, but whatever. Huh. Oh, wait, no. He's got a, a Chalad hold. Try using a Pedra again. That worked last time. That's actually kind of funny. These two engagements ended up working almost exactly the same as the, each other. Belong to what? Or who? Or something. I don't know. But what I do know is that I am the victor. I guess you don't actually have to take the forts. Dragon armor? That's kind of strange. Why would he even know? What's this forbidden spell thing all about? That's a nice plan on paper. It sounds very foreboding. Emil seems to have kind of lost it, to be honest. He's like drunk on power or something.
And with that, I leave you here for today on Let's Play Ogre Battle 64. Catch you later!